Hello, everyone, and welcome to Keswick Chapel of the Chew. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day three of week five in our year-long journey, The Way, His and Ours. This week, we're focusing on kingdom life. Yesterday, we looked at our first point, Jesus has a kingdom. Today, we'll be looking at the second point, the kingdom of God must be entered. Our foundational passage for this week is John chapter 3, verses 1 through 21. I want to encourage you to grab your Bible and pen and paper so that you can take notes, your Bible so that you can follow along with me as we read some verses together here today. Also today, I've got a a number of verses that I'm going to be sharing with you, and I hope that you'll jot those down so you can go back and look at them more in depth later on today. So as we look at our second point, the kingdom of God must be entered. We're going to be beginning in John chapter 3, verse 5, reading through verse 8. Then Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. This, my friends, is the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. Well, we're going to be looking at this today. Jesus, of course, was addressing Nicodemus' confusion about being born again. So as we look at this, how is it that someone is born again? What, it, what does it mean? What, is it, what takes place or what needs to take place? So I have three points about this becoming born again. And the first is this, admit. Romans 3.23 basically tells us this, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So we need to admit that we're sinners, that we've fallen short of God's glory. Then we need to believe. John chapter 1 verse 12 tells us that we receive and believe in his name for the right to become a child of God. So we receive this truth and we believe in Jesus' name. And then thirdly, we confess Romans 10, 9 says this, Confess Jesus as Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead. So we admit that we're sinners, then we believe in Jesus' name, and then we confess that Jesus is Lord. So we confess him as our Lord, and we believe that God raised him from the dead. ABC, admit, believe, and confess. That's how we become born again. We put our faith and confidence in God's word about who Jesus is, and we believe Jesus for our salvation, and we believe Jesus to be, and we place him as the Lord of our lives. Then, how or when is someone born of the Spirit? Well, we basically have the roadmap, if you will, for believing and becoming born of the Spirit, and there's one thing that we need to read in Romans chapter 10, verse 10, Paul says this, Believe in your hearts to be justified and then confess with your mouth. Again, we're just, I'm I'm giving you another verse to support this process of believing and becoming born of the Spirit. And then there's one other thing in John chapter 3, verses 19 through 21, we read about the light coming into the light. And Actually, if you go to verse 19 and you read with me, this is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. Verse 21, but whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. So we come into the light when we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, and we choose to live by the light of the truth of God's Word. So as you consider these things today, and as you chew on these things today, chew on these truths, I pray that you'll have eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth and that your heart and your mind will be receptive to His truth, not mine, 
God's truth so that you can be renewed, so that you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, if you don't know Jesus is your Lord and Savior, I pray that you will take what we talked about here this morning and that you will take these steps and become a citizen of God. And then if you are a believer, I pray that this has served as a reminder to you today of who you are in Christ Jesus, that you are a child of God, and that you are a citizen of the kingdom of God. And then lastly, I want to remind you of something that Pastor Bud said on Sunday. God has no grandchildren, only children. So you have to enter the kingdom of heaven. You have to enter the citizenship of the kingdom of God yourself. No one else can do it for you. So I pray that as you chew on these things today, that you'll be moved by the Holy Spirit to take whatever action steps you need to take. I pray that you'll have a wonderful day, that you'll go in the peace of God. Blessings to you, my friends. Bye for now.